Well, it's been 30 years since this deck was built and it's time to replace it. So I've uh, just got to the end. I got the doorstep left here to tear off and then I'm going to start uh, rebuilding and uh, take the deck apart. I'm just using a cat's claw and a hammer and just pulling out all the nails. I'm setting my deck on these Bigfoot castings and the way I did that was I bought this Bigfoot, I attached it to this board with some screws, painted diesel fuel on the inside which acts as a release agent and poured a, a nice strong mix of concrete and then added this rebar. Now I poured 10 of these castings. Now this Bigfoot cost me around $25 and I, if I would have done it the, the way they recommend is I, I would have buried these what I need a ten of these so I saved a couple hundred dollars by doing it this way. Okay the first thing I did was have an excavator come in and dig my holes and then I leveled the ground and put a 24 inch by 24 inch patio stone down made sure that was level set my big foot on top of that and then lined everything up put my sauna tube on top and then filled that full of cement. To ensure everything was level and in line, I ran a line from the house, which is connected to the bottom of the sill, because that's where I want my deck, the bottom of my deck to be. And I ran that line with a line bubble and made sure it was level. And then I ran a line the whole length of the deck to make sure that was level and then I'll set my deck on these posts. Now I set the foundation for these posts at about three feet underground so they wouldn't be affected by the frost. And the deck's going to be running across the side of the house. I had to put some retaining walls in. This is the one corner post. Here's the other corner post. And what I'll do is I'll set the deck on top of these posts and on top of my retaining walls. 